All right, let's calculate the point of intersection for the following linear system via the substitution method. So here we have two lines in our system, right? We have line one and line two. Before I kind of calculate for the point of intersection, I just want to verify that these two lines, in fact, do intersect, right? So slope of line one is equal to negative three because we're basically looking at it as y is equal to mx plus b, and m here is the slope. Okay, and the slope of line two here is one half. So you can notice here that slope of line one is not equal to slope of line two. That means line one is not parallel to line two, so they will intersect. And we can notice here that they should intersect at any angle, right? It's not specifically a 90 degree angle in this case. All right, so if we're looking at solving for the point of intersection, we're going to use the substitution method, and basically at the point of intersection, right, y1 should equal y2. Right? Both equations or both lines should have the same point of intersection. They will have the same x and y value. Okay? So that's why I can equate the two y values. And if I equate the two y values, what I'm going to see here is that negative 3x minus 4 is equal to 1 half x plus 2. Now I want to solve for that common x value. All right? So if I'm solving for that common x value, you can notice here that I have a half here. If you want to make your life easier and you don't want to work with fractions, I'm just going to multiply this side by 2. And whatever I do to one side, to keep the equation the same, I multiply the other side by 2. So basically what you get if you distribute this, you get negative 6x minus 8 is equal to, if I distribute this, you get 2 times 1 half, which is 1. So x plus 4, right? And then I'm going to collect the like terms as so, then you get negative 6x minus x is equal to 4 plus 8, then you get negative 7x is equal to 12, and x, if I divide this by negative 7, right, I'm just going to make some space there, x is equal to negative 12 over 7, okay? So that's the x value. If you want to find the y value, then you can just resubstitute this into an equation. So I'm going to resubstitute this into equation 1, right? It doesn't matter what equation you substitute this back into, because they both have the same y value. So if I substitute this back into equation 1, you get y is equal to negative 3. Instead of x, I'm going to plug in negative um, 12 over 7. So you get negative 12 over 7 minus 4. So y here is equal to, if I multiply this, you get 36. Remember the negatives cancel out. 36 over 7 minus 4, and this is 4 over 1. If I'm subtracting fractions, make sure the denominators are the same, right? So you get y is equal to 36 minus 28 over 7, which is 8 over 7, okay? So the point of intersection here is therefore negative 12 over 7 and 8 over 7. And that's how you use the substitution method.